Today we will learn about nets of 3D shapes. Let's understand this with an activity. Take a cardboard. Draw squares of equal measurement on it. You can take the square's arm according to the size of the cardboard. Now cut the shape and separate it from the cardboard. Now fold each square to form a three-dimensional shape like this. From this you will get a cube. Thus here we have obtained 3D shape with the help of a structure. A skeleton outline in 2D which when folded results in a 3D shape is called a net. Like it is a net of a cube. When you go to the sweet shop to get sweets, the confectioner gives you sweets in a box. Often the boxes at the sweets shop are cuboid shaped. If you open any such box and level it, you will see its net. You must have worn a birthday cap on your birthday. It is shaped like a cone. If you cut a cone along a point on its oblique surface and along the line going from the vertex, you will get the cone net in this way. You can definitely make a birthday cap for yourself by making this type of net on a flexible cardboard. Which three-dimensional shape does this net represent? Think, think. Absolutely right. This net is of a cylinder. We saw that a cube can be made from this net. Now look at this net. All squares are made in it too. If we fold the squares properly, then we will definitely get a cube. In this way, we can make a cube not only from these two nets, but also from all these nets. That means we can say that a solid can have different nets. Many a times we also need to know whether the desired solid shape can be made from a given net or not. Let us understand some important things in this context. While determining whether a given net can form the desired solid, we should keep in mind that the desired solid shape and the net shown have the same number of faces. At the same time, it is also important that there is a correspondence between the sizes of the faces and the faces in the net. Then we look at the net and think how we will get the desired solid by turning the net. Look at this net as an example. Can we make a pyramid from this net? Think about it. Let us tell you there are a total of five faces in this net in which there is one square and the remaining four faces are triangular. Together we also see that there is a triangle on each side of the square. Now we can imagine that if we fold these faces in this way then we will definitely get a pyramid. In this way we can find that the given net is of a pyramid itself. We will see more examples related to this in the next video. Today we learned about nets of 3D shapes. You will see some examples related to this in the next video.